Let's all sing it together. It's just the same. Oh, Mets. You got nothing. What are you talking about? Ah. We're in first place. Ah. We're kicking ass. How did you not get the statue right? And how come it took so long for somebody to notice it? Are you talking about the extra oh, hook yeah. on the number four? Boy, it is not a historical representation of any jersey that man ever wore come on. while playing for the New York Mets. Come on. Yeah, Jeets. That's right. Come on. The Yankees don't get those come kinds on. of things wrong. Come on. That's what you got? How about you mock the most overrated goaltender in the NHL? Oh, How about you mock the too. softest <laughs> hockey team in the country? Instead, you want to oh. pick on a small mistake? of a oh, statue. A small mistake. Oh, but Craig, Craig, Craig. How about you, historical representation of the so, greatest player to ever wear your jersey? So what's the mistake, first of all? So the audience knows. Go ahead. So, all right. So let me just walk people through it. Uh, I, I I only came about this yesterday. Of you course did you did, because you have no idea. No one did. Exactly. Because 10,000 people <laughs> at opening day said it's the greatest statue we've ever seen. It is. No one thought to look at the numbers. So what's so, wrong with Okay. It? So in every iteration... Of New York Met jersey mm -hmm. from 62 through Seaver's career. The number four is, uh, they, they actually printed the name of the font. I forget what it is. doesn't really matter because none of us will know it. The way the four is written, that when you uh, make the right-hand turn after coming down diagonally to go back to the straight-up part of the four, it crosses over. An inch, whatever it so is. So there's like an extra hook, if yeah. you will. Yeah, so it goes across the upper part of the four, right. like a little bit, boom. Right. So the the front of the jersey is right, everything else is right. Even the uh, the one you have there, I think, is right as well. The, the one Tom they gave Seaver away. statue that yeah. I'm holding in my hand. They did it right. Is right. Yeah. There's a little extension on the four. So the, what the, the sculptor said, and he feels terrible about it, so... You know, I feel terrible for the guy that he made that mistake. And at the end of the day, who caught it? Very few people. One guy happened to notice it. Is at each step of the way over the course of like the last year when he was building it, he had it right. Because the giveaway that Evan has in front of him mm -hmm. that was given away to Met fans at that game at City Field was merely a copy of one version of the sculptor as he was building it. Long story short, he took so he took ownership of it. He messed up. He messed up. The jersey's not historically accurate. Now here's the real question. Does is anybody really bothered by no. it? No. Anybody? No. Well, one guy was. I mean, that's why he called. Well, the, guy. the the uniform Twitter account, which is actually a really good Twitter account, there's this dude who always kind of goes off on logos and jerseys. So he'll, like, notice in a White Sox Cleveland Guardian game, hey, that guy's wearing the wrong hat. Got it. Okay. okay. And it's overall interesting and cool. When I read about this, I shrugged my shoulders. Now, I'm also honest enough to admit that if the Wilpons owned the team, you would be singing a much different <laughs> tune. <laughs> There'd be protests outside yeah. the city. And let's field. be fair about it. If this was a Wilpon mistake, <laughs> yeah. you guys would never let him live it down. You'd want the statue taken out yes. and the jersey number fixed. Yeah, we'd Saddam Hussein yeah. the statue. We would take it down. And we would demand the Wilpon sell the team because of negligence. I think you kind of have to take the statue down. No, though. you don't. And apparently fixing it is a labor. Craig, And no Craig, guarantee Craig. you could fix it pro properly. Craig, <laughs> I am a diehard Met fan who's watched thousands uh, of games in my life. Okay? Yes, yes. I've owned hundreds of Met jerseys in my life. If you asked me with my life on the line, yeah. hey, Evan, is there a little extension on the four on Met jerseys? And either you're going to give the right answer and win a million dollars, but if you get it wrong, you're dead. You're dead. But your third option is, I'm just going to pass on the whole question. I pass on the whole question because I had no idea. So you did not know no. that it was a historical misrepresentation. I didn't know until I was told. I didn't know until I read I about mean, it. To be fair, none of us knew. Exactly. Until it uh, became news yesterday. Exactly. And it was last night when I saw it. But it is funny that the Mets well, would do that. We live in like, a. Like, here's the thing, and this is my question. Yeah. I, by, uh, obviously, neither one of us are artists or sculptors or anything along those lines. But before you, you know, harden the clay, right. before you put it through the kiln and you bronze it, don't you look at it? <laughs> don't you bring in a couple people like, uh, like independent experts and say, hey, is everything right here? Because I know some people, and these are, you know, people just looking for something to complain about, were like, wait a minute. 
His knee's not on the ground. Right. The Seaver, you know, portrait, his knee's got to be on the ground. Whatever. Mm. But this is much bigger than that. Is it, though? <laughs> this is. <laughs> and the poor sculptor's like, I bought a Mitchell and Ness jersey. <laughs> I thought I had a Wait, right. Why can't he add the extra extension so, of an inch? Apparently, it's very difficult to do it. Why? In the article, the guy goes, listen, could I do it? Maybe. Maybe. But it'd be very hard to do it and guarantee that it matches, like, color scheme right, and all that right. stuff. Let me tell you. For you everyone, have to take the whole thing back into the for, shop. For everyone who goes to City Field and makes their pilgrimage to the Home Run Apple yeah. and then to George Thomas Seaver's statue, nobody cares. Well, nobody what you do. notices. But I've got the solution, Evan. What's that? Gum. <laughs> That's sure. the solution. Throw it up You there. get enough Met fans to chew up gum and you'll place the gum on that side of the four uh, over the course of time, that gum will turn brown. That'll fix the issue. It will never be removed, it, and you'll have the little it, thing. Here's what I know in the world we live in. Last night, the Angels of Anaheim won a baseball game, and Noah Syndergaard pitched really well. Good. No Met fan is complaining about it. No Met fan's even mentioning like, it. Oh, my God. What? We live in a world now in which we're so accepting of the roster that we have, the ownership that we have, that things that would bug us in a different universe, like the mistake of Seavers number four, Syndergaard pitching to a 2-5 ERA. Sure. We'd go nuts about that a year, two, three years ago under the Wilpon regime. But nowadays, and I'm not sure it's going to last, Craig, but I can tell you in this moment, we're happy. So stop trying to rain on the first place Mets parade I'm not by complaining anything. about the four. I'm it's just saying, how did you guys all miss it? <laughs> all of you alleged Mets fans, all stop. you diehard Mets fans, all you, oh, the statue looks great. It's finally a representation of our greatest player. You got the jersey wrong. How do you make that mistake? You wouldn't have noticed it either. No, I would not have. You had no idea. But here's the beauty. What? You didn't notice I, it. And I admit that. And everybody else that was out there, Gary Cohen, didn't notice Howie it. Howie Rose. Howie Rose didn't notice it. Here's what it. I'm curious about. Do you think Howie Rose. Nancy Seaver didn't <laughs> notice it. Do you think Howie Rose knew if you had asked him, hey, does a four on a Met jersey extend just a little bit? Um, I don't know if he would have known that. Prior to this? Prior to Yeah, well, I would say yes, he nowadays, would Nowadays, we all know it. I'm yeah. talking about a month ago. I, do, I, I feel terrible for the guy that did the sculpture. Innocent mistake. You know, it's a, it, uh, it obviously, you know, totally foobars his reputation now. Like he's no longer a go-to guy. Right? Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Can't, you telling me you're rude. Can't, can't have that guy right Listen, if I'm building a sculpture of Craig Carton, all right, don't, we put don't together, use that guy. We put together a nice, let's say, 12 year run in afternoon drive. Then he goes on and does something else, or he's dead, or he retires, or whatever happens. Well, let's go with retires. Why dead? And we want to build a statue. I say to the bosses around here, let's yeah. give the man a statue. Mike's got a studio. Summers has a break room. I should have something. Beningo has a bathroom. Yeah. Boomer's got a cough button. What should Craig have? Yeah. I would definitely. Definitely commission this guy to build your statue. I'm not going to. He's going to mess it up. Penalize though. him because of the four. I think he'll mess it up. I well, can't trust this guy to build my statue. Do you think he'll accidentally give you hair or something? And by the way, the guy's defense, and he took ownership of it. And I'm, I'm not saying his name because I don't want him to be out there like that. I do feel terrible for the guy. I guarantee he didn't sleep well last night. But his defense was: there's some famous sculptor that we've never heard of who did a rendition of David, mm -hmm. right? You know, the naked Greek guy. I actually right? thought you meant David Wright, but no, thank you for Wright. telling no, 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 me. No. Yes, thank you. And apparently, if you look at David's feet, mm -hmm. one foot is like six sizes bigger than the other foot. Oh, really? The guy made a mistake. Right. In his back and forth, when he finally went to cast the thing, he never went back and fixed the feet. Hmm. So he's like, kind of the same thing. If <laughs> That's worse, actually. <laughs> okay. If we went through every statue and monument, and try to find minor mistakes. Don't you think we would find them? No, I no? don't. Because I think most guys, as I'm sure this guy normally is, they are they pay attention to every inch of every creation they make. Yeah, but nothing. Because that's their reputation. But Craig, nothing is perfect. There are statues where you say to yourself, that doesn't even really look like him. Now, that's not a mistake uh, per se. That. That's happened. Okay. Yeah. Now, like Hall of Fame bust, things right. like that. Now, yeah. when you see something like that, isn't that to you a bigger, quote unquote, mistake than the dash on a four? Listen, I don't think it's that big a deal, 
But for a sport that prides itself on getting its history right, they just foobarred right. it. Well, then you have an assignment. Since you are a diehard Yankee fan and the biggest Yankee fan at this radio station, I don't even think it's close. Am I? Yeah. The huh. next time. I thought maybe Brandon had that or Big Mac, but okay. No, I think you beat I'll him. wear the hat. I think you beat him. <laughs> no problem I think that. you're number one. I got a Ranger hat on now. <laughs> How'd they do last night? Well, I brought it right back after that embarrassing loss last night. Pathetic. Yeah. Um, I want you to go to Monument Park. And I want you to give yourself a tour, and I want yeah. you to go through every monument at yeah. Monument Park. Can I bring a historian with me? And I want you to bring a historian. Yeah. I want you to bring a magnifying glass. I want you to bring a notebook. And I want you to come back to me and let me know, is yeah. everything 100% accurate? Good, good point. Or have you noticed maybe a flaw? I'll do that. Good. I have no problem doing that. Thank you. I, while we're at it, though... Yo, there is another problem with the statue. No, here we go. I mean, there really is. What's that? George in Massapequa has it. Georgie, what do you got, buddy? Hey, hey, you guys. How you doing? Doing great. <laughs> hey, listen. Not for nothing, but if we're going to talk about, like, little minuscule stuff. Yeah. The guy is holding a curveball. Yeah. Tommy C. is holding a curveball in the <laughs> statue. It's very true, right? by the I way. Mean, the guy barely threw curveballs his whole career. He's throwing fastballs. He's throwing heaters. What's up with that? Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> listen, I saw a lot of people on Twitter last night also referencing that, that he's about to throw the old Uncle Charlie. And, he, even, you know, that's not what he's known for. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't even realize that when they put the statue up, they had Keith and Ron talking about it during the broadcast of the game when they first put it out there. I mean, so they just, did bring it up. My father, okay. my, my father watched Steve play, and he's just like, I never threw curveball. You know, so, this, right, is, so this is, is a problem. This is a problem. This is Met fans. <laughs> Good job, Georgie. This is now Met fans yeah. looking to bitch about So let's something. just get this right. Yes. The right knee's not on the ground. Problem. Well, he's not there yet. It's okay. going down. It's coming down. Well, it's not on the ground. It's not down the entire time. He's, he's holding the ball as if he's going to throw a curveball, <laughs> not a fastball. Right. And the jersey number's not historically accurate. I mean, how many more mistakes <laughs> can one guy make? It's not a mistake. I think you got to scrap the whole thing. Oh, my God. I think God. you got to scrap it, rebuild it. You got to bring the whole thing down now? Yeah, I think you got to take you all that. start over. I think you got to take the entire thing down, bring Nancy and the kids out again, and redo it. Worst. Yeah, I think you got to do the whole thing. <laughs> Are we sure it's not a slider grip? Are we positive he about that? He didn't throw sliders back then. Oh, he did throw a slider, yeah. Later in his career. He threw a slider. He wasn't throwing sliders in 69. What do you think Tom Seaver just did? Throw fastballs every single pitch? Did, I don't know if he threw sliders, though. He did throw I sliders. I thought the slider was a recent invention. No. They were throwing sliders in the 60s? It's not a recent invention. Yeah, I think it is. A recent I mean, invention? I don't want to embarrass you, but Do you think is. that everybody the just The slider threw, did not exist in 1969. Do you think that they just <laughs> threw fastballs? Change like, That was it, fastballs? Change, change ups, ups and curves. How about screwballs? Yeah. Well, like, the there was an outlier. There was probably one guy in every team, maybe, <laughs> that could throw it a, an appropriate Christy Matthewson ball. threw a pitch yeah, called, not like, a lot. We, we, we not a lot. Not were, a lot. Were you analyzing the breakdowns of every pitch thrown by pitchers back in the 60s, 50s, and 20s? Matter of fact, I'm a bit of a historian. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes, that's true. Stop it. By the way, when do you think the slider historically was uh, is credited as uh, having been invented? Be I'd honest. probably say the late 70s. The late 70s? Yeah, mid to late 70s. All right. There was a concise history done back in 2004 about when the slider was officially introduced into a baseball lexicon. Well, well that's different than it being invented. That's, that's We true. have that's a true. name for it, and now we're using it. I mean, you can't act like pitchers didn't throw numerous pitches back in the day just because they weren't Like named. there was a palm ball yeah. back in the day. The EFIS famously, who knows when that started. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know when it was actually called the slider. But it was a lot later than most people would think. But what's the answer? Because I just gave you a guess, and now you're just moving on. All right, hold on. I'm trying to answer. find the actual answer. Well, then don't ask a question if you can't answer it. I'm finding the answer. All right, but th th thank you, uh, Lugie. What's this? The slider first came to prominence well, on, in the first second. quarter of the 20th Why would century. Why you hand that to him? Skull. No, 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 no. It had a different name, but the first part of the 20th century, Chief Bender is widely believed Chief to be the pitch Bender. pitcher to bring. Chief okay. Bender played for the Philadelphia A's, I think, in the early 1910s. Great. Great. Here's where it says So here. you're wrong. No, I'm not so wrong. So take your L and move on. The term slider. No, no, not term slider. They were throwing a slider. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> the term slider does not appear in the complete baseball handbook until the mid-1970s. Therefore, no one was throwing one. Stop it. <laughs> I, I, that's, a, that's according to ESPN. 
Okay. Oh, so they know everything. Well, no, but they did like a research uh, uh, thing on it 20 years ago. Anyway, listen, the statue's a problem. I don't know what to tell no, you. No, it's not. It's not a problem. The statue is a part of how things are different now if you're a Met fan. We have an owner that gives a rat's ass about yeah. their history. We have a team that's in first place. Well, hold on. Time out, on that. Time out on that. And a beautiful statue. Time out on that. What? Apparently the owner doesn't care about its history. Yes, he does. He just got the first thing he ever did historically wrong. He commit. He got the statue Tell you done. something else. He's going to lose the polls to the people because of it. <laughs> that is a terrible way to go into the polls to the people award season when you can't get Listen, the jersey a third You're just accurate. campaigning for yourself. You're just using this. I haven't this. been nominated I yet. know, but you're confident enough to think you're going to be nominated. There's so you're, no doubt. You know what you're doing? You're yeah. in the primary, and you're yeah. already in the general election campaign mode. Not That's sure what that means, but sure. Okay, it fine. It means you're in the primary. Yeah. Like you're debating with Marco Rubio, Donald Trump, and yeah, Ted Cruz. I'm, I'd be good there. But you're already attacking the Democratic nominee, That's even right. you haven't won the Republican nomination. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Yeah, Al Dukes did it this morning. He um, put out a video saying, I know I'm going to be nominated for the Pulse of the People. See? Yeah, everybody wants to be a part of it now. <laughs> Steve Cohen just lost it, I think. Come on. Like, how do you give the guy the Pulse of the People when he gets the jersey wrong? It's really the only thing you got to get right. Nobody would have known the jersey was wrong if we didn't have historians looking at it and analyzing that every make detail. make it right. Yeah, but again, go through every other statue. Yeah. Go through I Monument did. Park. I did. Well, you I haven't do done yet. it yet. No. I want you to do it. I want you to do a report. Put an effort in for this show, okay? Put a little work in how for this they, show. How I want you to go to Monument Park yeah. and come back with a full report. All right, I'll do that. Um, hmm. How's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah, he's playing an afternoon game. Let's do it. Well, I'll, I'll go, go there you. early. Yes. I'll ask for a private tour of Monument Park. Perfect. I'm sure I can get that. Perfect. And we'll take a look at every single monument. Every single monument. Yeah. Okay. If there's a hair out of place, Here's the good you're news. writing it down. Yankees haven't changed their jersey in a hundred years. <laughs> That's true. So they either got it right or they didn't. We're not just looking for jersey mistakes. What are we looking for? We're looking for any kind of historical yeah. mistake that you can see. And you okay. need to be honest about this. All right. I just, I feel terrible for the sculpture. And I, I'll be honest about this. I feel bad for you guys. No, you don't. I do. You're looking for I feel a bad way for Met fans. to tear us down. And I got news for you. Yeah. Other than the Mets themselves, and they very well could. Nothing is going to take this smile off our face. I We're do. a happy bunch right now. I want to just say this. Met fans, I got you back. No, you I'm don't. Gonna, I'm going to write this wrong for you because <laughs> no, somebody has to get involved. <laughs> Billy's in Yorktown on the fan. Billy, what's going on? Oh, Lord have mercy, Craig. Seriously. <laughs> Can I just, just give me a second, all right? First yeah. of all, with uh, the statue of David, it's not the guy's feet. It's the hands that are the problem. That's, that's, that's no, no, there's a different story. version. There's a sculptor you and I uh, never heard of. All right, Craig. Give me a second. Yeah. I know you want to, you like a wannabe shock jock. And you I'm not of, a wannabe uh, shock jock. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit you are good at it. I keep kicking myself for listening to you because Thanks. you drive me nuts. But uh, the most important thing is, and I don't know why you always go to like the lowest common denominator, but the most important thing, and I want to get this question is, please, you got to tell us when exactly did you stop being a Mets fan? Because... We all know you were a Mets fan until it wasn't uh, yes. good for your career. Well, I can tell you, so why you well, that? Why don't you explain that to all your listeners? Yeah, I will. I'm happy okay? to. I'm happy to. Please so, explain that. Why two, you're, you're if I may, you're I'm going to answer your question. You asked the question. I'm going to answer it, okay? Because it's a fair okay, question. Okay. And the answer is 2009 are where the <laughs> seeds were born. And I'll tell you what happened. Uh, on, the New York Yankees are playing the Philadelphia Phillies in the World Series. I created that year famously... A church. The name of that church. Evan, go ahead. You know the name of it. Yeah, you named the church and you called it Mets Fans for Yankees. No, you've done it with feeling before, I Evan. am not doing it with but feeling. But you have done it with feeling. In fact, if Big Mac really did some research, yeah. he could play it right now without me even having to open up my big fat mouth. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's done the research. So go do it so I don't have to say it again. Mets Fans! For Yankees! Yes. That's right. And you do it very well. And because we all hate Philadelphia, it caught on like wildfire. Right. Mets fans for Yankees! Um, there you go. That's you doing it. <laughs> that was you doing Everybody it. Everybody did it. And uh, that's where those were the, <laughs> the seedlings of the germination of my Yankee fandom. And then when I came back from my three-year hiatus, I had to pick a team. Mm. Because it's only fair for the audience that they knew who I was rooting for. 
and I saddled up with the evil empire. You did. That's what I did. And then I did it again this year. It's paying off pretty handsomely. So far, so good. I'm a Mets fan for Yankees. There you go. Context, that was right before the Yankees played the Phillies in a regular (laughs) season game, but go ahead. So anyway, that's where it started, and... I'm sorry that uh, the show bothers you so much, but we do appreciate the fact yeah, that he, you still listen. That guy does not like you. I don't know if that no, made, no, he made that clear. No, no, he loves me. Uh, he just doesn't like some of the things I say. Uh, like, you don't listen every day if you don't love it. Well, he's, yeah. Or hate it, I guess. Yeah. That's possibly no, true. No, I'm glad he's listening, but he doesn't like yeah. you. That's, Seems that's that clear, yeah. Seems like you want to okay. have a beer with me, though. You think so? I get that a lot. <laughs> hey, Corden, you seem like a guy would be fun to have a beer with, but outside of that, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, you got it. 877-337-6666. Corden and Roberts on the fan live from the Town Fair Tire Studios, powered by Town Fair Tire. We'll get all your uh, take on the Fugazi statue now that sits outside of City Field. And what do you want the Mets to do about it? That's really the answer. Because if you have a problem with it, you got to have a solution after this on the fan.